Today I'm going to show you how to install Open Fortress in 2022. First of all, you have to make sure that you have installed Team Fortress 2 and Source SDK Multiplayer Base 2018, I think it was. I'm going to assume that you know how to install Team Fortress 2. To find the multiplayer base, you have to activate the tool section in your Steam library. If you have several Steam libraries, make sure you install Team Fortress 2 and the multiplayer base in the same one. In order to download Open Fortress, you have to open the Open Fortress website. If the site would actually work, I guess it will in the future, you could download the program you need there. For now, the only way you can get the link is via the Discord that you also could access via the website, but uh, yeah, it doesn't work right now, so. Uh, Whatever. The link for the Discord and for the website will be in the description. If you actually find the uh, Discord and open it, you will find this link right here uh, for the Windows and for the Linux version. Open the link, download the program. Windows will tell you that it's a weird program, but you will still keep it. I guess Windows doesn't like that something is downloading from a weird server. I, I don't know. Find the file you have downloaded and open it. Windows will tell you that it's dangerous to run this file, but you will still run it. Now this file will ask you two things. First of all, where to install Open Fortress. The standard option should be fine, but if you have installed Team Fortress 2 and the multiplayer base in a different library, you might want to change the location. The download URL should be fine. If all settings are done, click update. If you install the game for the first time, it will probably take a while. I have already installed it and updated it, so for me it's done right away. After you have done this, you have to restart Steam. Open Fortress should now appear in your library, and you should be able to run it. You can refer to my old tutorial if the program doesn't work for you, but you need the program to update the game, so it would be good to make it work somehow. 